her and you find out that she goes to, were you there when she's made yeah. this comment? So I loved it because I was thinking, I was like, oh, when I put my like Intel officer hat back on, then I would want to like talk to the people and friends in your circle and find out like, how do you feel about the fact that- uh, Is it challenging in any way to be a former CIA officer on the other side of the fence, so to speak, in an oversight role? I can't answer that based on experience, but I will assess that the answer is likely yes. Um, and I would imagine, you know, having been on the other side of the house when programs and projects that I was working on were getting briefed to HIPSI, right? And I'm giving all the information to the folks who are going to brief it. I know the lingo, I know the language, I know the culture. So I hope that it's beneficial to the purpose of oversight, but I'm, I'm sure there will be points of frustration, probably for me and for them, frankly speaking. So. You heard from any former colleagues still in? Oh, yeah. I, I know it's like a secretive thing, but anything general you can share <laughs> other than good luck, don't go too hard on this, that kind of stuff? Oh, or? no. You know, the, the interesting thing I will say, agency officers typically really understand, respect, and find great value in the role of oversight. Some of my friends who are still there are excited that um, I'm going to be on the oversight side and have, have frankly uh, spoken very highly of the job that uh, former Congressman Heard did because he did bring a level of understanding to the discussions, which um, I know many people inside the building really appreciated. Right now you think about the weapon, weaponization subcommittee and all the stuff about deep state and you're familiar with that. And I wonder... I'm familiar with the accusations yeah, yeah, because sorry, sorry. they're yeah. not based in fact, but yes. So. Uh, is that something that you've had to address with lawmakers in the building here? And what do you see, if you see, a, your unique role and skill set in addressing some of the debates that are going on both in this building and in the country about what intelligence should be? I will say, as a former intelligence officer, like I know that countries are watching us. I know, because I, I wrote up these reports. You know, there's fighting with these two factions, and this is what it means. There are intelligence officers and intelligence agencies watching the United States, watching an attack on the United States Capitol, and then watching some members of Congress defend it. The reality is that other countries perceive that and they perceive it as a way that, in a way that is, it, it can't be good. And so I think that when we're talking about the individuals who raise their right hand and pledge to uphold Constitution and defend our country from enemies foreign and domestic and then you know go overseas and work crazy hours and do extraordinary and strange and you know unusual things for the ability to send information back home like those people are doing incredible work for members of Congress to wrap them up in partisan debates is is highly highly inappropriate Thank you so much. We promise to put your office back together. We will.